What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with another LEGO review. And this time it is on Nexo Knight's Aaron's Stone Destroyer. This set retails for $24.99 and is a Target exclusive in the United States. The set comes with 251 pieces, and the ages are 8 to 14, item number 70358. On the front, you can see the uh, vehicle, and then in the bottom left corner, you can see some of the figures, and in the bottom right corner, it has a combine your powers kind of thing. Um, I'm assuming that's like probably for the new shield piece, or something to do with like the app. On the back, it shows off some of the features and the sets. But now, let's open this up. Alright, taking a look at the Stone Destroyer, I've got to say, this really blew my expectations. First of all, one thing I wasn't expecting was when you can move this around, the saws would actually move. That just adds um, a little more playability in my opinion. I really like how they did that. And uh, that's just something cool. Another thing is um, you've got the posability of these guns. Um, you can move them around. You can also move this and you can move it like up and down. But you may have to move the, uh, the engines a, a tad bit to really get it to move up. And I just accidentally fired it, but that doesn't matter. But you can see that you can get it up. It doesn't really go too far up, but whatever. I mean, I, I, I like the amount of posability I'm getting with this right here, with the mixel ball joints here. And then also the engine, you can move it up so you can have it a little posed in. Um, this won't move up. It's just uh, like a stud basically. So it's on a stud, so you can't move it up. You can move this up if you would like. Um, I, I don't know why you'd move it up. But you, you can move it up, and overall, the whole thing, I think, just, it looks really nice. It, it works well, it rolls well, you know, you can see that the saws, uh, they move well. You can also move them, them back a little, just move them around just a tad bit. Not too much you can do with this, because it is locked in with an axle. But you can get a little bit uh, of mobility out of that, which is neat. And then... Lastly, you've got the blaster here, and it's very simple. All you do is push down, and it fires out. And in case if you lose one of these, you actually get another one, which is a nice thing that they did. All right, taking a look at this small little mini build, as you can see, we have this kind of like hidden, kind of like just a catapult here. Um, nothing too special with this, it's just kind of like a small kind of tree build. It has a uh, garbage can in here, but nothing too special. And then there is a, um, a printing here with um, some numbers. I'm not really too sure what that's for. Maybe it's like some Nexo Power scan thing or something, but uh, I'm not too sure about that. But the main feature with this is um, the catapult. You just fling it down and it fires. and you do get extra ammunition, so if you lose your kind of like uh, your ammunition, you'll be fine. And the last thing I will say about this is, uh, this is actually really low, and I'm impressed that they've got it this low, and the the ammunition won't fall out. But I find that it doesn't fire too well because it's so low; it just kind of goes up and doesn't really get distance, which uh, it's it's just a trade-off, but. I would have preferred a little more distance. All right, taking a look at the figures. In this set, you could argue you technically get three because of the uh, stone warrior. However, I'm gonna say that's more of a big fig, so I'm not gonna include him in this section. So, as you can see, you get two mini figures, Aaron and Robot Woodlum. Now, the figures, um, not too bad. A uh, Robot Woodlum, I'm pretty sure, is exclusive to the set. At least for the uh, the first wave for uh, the 2017 Nexo Knight sets. Aaron, however, is not exclusive. In fact, this is not even the cheapest way you can get Aaron. Uh, he comes in uh, Ruina's Lock and Ruler, which is a $20 set. However, if you're looking for this figure, it's only five extra dollars. However, 
The Runa's lock and roller also has some good figures, so if you're just looking for a cheaper way uh, to get Aaron, this is not going to be the set for you. However, overall, I, I gotta say the figures are pretty good. I like Robot Woodbum. It's got the uh, bow and arrow, just a generic kind of like robot figure. Nothing too special with that figure. However, I like the figure a lot. And then Aaron, it's the same Aaron as in uh, Runa's lock and roller. I like the figure. It's a very neat, the gun, it's it's good, I like the gun. Um, and then on the back, of course, for Aaron, you've got, like, all the detailing here. And then, there's, like, n there's nothing too much here on the back of Woodland. Alright, taking a look at the Stone Warrior, as you can see, there's quite a few interesting things going on. First of all, one thing I do like is the fact that they added a lot of, like, these... Um, armor pieces or supposed they're supposed to resemble like armor or crystals or something uh, They just look really nice though. And I, I just I like that a lot Another thing is it's got like these kind of small wings Sort of so I guess it can kind of fly but I wouldn't expect it to be going too far and then the biggest thing for this guy is um His arms they're huge He got his little claw and uh, you can open it up and stuff but I mean look at this you can't even fully have that one go down and then of course the stud shooter it's it's a little better but it, it can't go down much either now the one thing I am gonna say is at least with this you're getting the extra posability here you know you can move it around some more than what you could if it was just kind of this hinged over here, that would just kind of be awkward. I mean, you would, you would just get like this, basically. Well, not even, probably a little less, honestly, because this piece is uh, fatter, and it would be the same for this. So, I'm willing to take the, the bigger arms, because uh, you get more posability, and I like that a lot. And then... The legs, nothing too special here. And then, of course, your stud shooter. I'll show off that. Just turn it. And then you fire all your studs. Alright, now another thing you can do with the stone destroyer is, as you can see, with the whole gun contrapment, you can actually pull this off. And what you can do, you can take a battle suit, for example, the Aaron battle suit. On the back, it's got the uh, the peg, and what you can actually do is you can connect it, and then you can kind of rearrange this, so you could have it up here, and it works out really well. You actually have like um, kind of a, a whole geared up battle suits, powered up mode, kind of like Beast Aaron thing, which is really neat. I like this a lot, and uh, the colors they don't really seem to. Um, like intrude too much but overall it's just a neat little thing uh, you do have to have the Aaron battle suit though for it so if, if you don't have the battle suit uh, well actually that's that's wrong you you just need a battle suit I'm sorry for that you don't need the Aaron battle suit all you need is just a battle suit and it will work however uh, the Aaron battle suit would probably be the best considering this is a Aaron vehicle alright taking a quick look at the Nexo powers you get two of these you get uh, like a red kind of like horse one. I don't know the names of these. I'm sorry guys, but I'll describe them in the, the best way I can. So you get like this red kind of horse thing. I, I have no clue. It's, it's like a unicorn. It looks interesting though. And then the other one, which has the uh, the shield piece on in the instructions, it's the one they, uh, they have you put on the shield. And this is like some leaf nexo power. I'm not too sure what that one is, but I think the red one is going to be a better one in, in the game. I just, I personally think it would be cooler. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Nexo powers. You don't get any forbidden ones in this set, but I still like the amount of Nexo powers you're getting too for a $25 set. That's pretty good. Overall, I really like this set. In general, the set... It's pretty solid. Now there's obviously a few cons with this set because no set is ever going to be perfect because nothing's perfect. 
And some of the cons of this uh, include the, uh, the stone warrior and his big arms. However, there are a few smaller things like with Aaron, there's no place to put his weapons uh, on the vehicle, so you just, got, you just kinda gotta put them somewhere, and hopefully you won't lose them. And then, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it besides the whole like kinda small issue with the catapult. But otherwise, the set is pretty solid. I mean, I don't really have too many complaints with this, and uh, for the $25 price, it's pretty good value. Uh, and both kind of playability and whole just like structures and stuff, you're, get, you're getting like three builds in this. And the piece count isn't too bad either, you know, you're getting 251 pieces for uh, 25, $25. That's not a bad piece count for the price. And overall, this set, just really, really good set. I would definitely recommend this set. I don't think the pictures do this set justice. I, I think this set is very, very solid. It's got a lot going for it. Uh, the only issue is if you're living in the United States, it is a Target exclusive, which kind of stinks, which means it's going to be a little harder. But if you're in the, uh, basically, if you're, if you're anywhere else, this should be much easier for you to get. But that is pretty much it for my review on Aaron Stone Destroyer. Leave your opinions in the comment section below, and until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.